Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of my Witcher 3 But then wine expansion pack playthrough and uh, The way we're back a little bit on the uh, on the city, but we're not gonna stay a lot I noticed that this paper chest quest got uh, completed. I don't know if it passed like one week, but All the same for me Looks like this guy is screaming at us already What is it? Got your coin, sir? And a wee gift to thank you for the trust you showed. This blade's the Reckoner. It saved my arse a fair number of times. <laughs> ah, looks like uh, doing this peace peacefully is uh, pretty. What the heck? Five hundred gold. That's it. What's kind of not worth the effort. I wonder if I get to beat those dwarves is where uh, maybe I get more, maybe less. The Reckoner. Hmm. Well, not all that amazing. Must serve me as good money. Anyway, uh, last episode before uh, I uh, got to this new one, <laughs> I did explore the um, between the episodes, I did explore that Fox Hollow or whatever the name was that, of that village, and I did find a few pretty interesting books and also some bestiary entries. Hmm. Let's see, not this one, old to Gwenf, nope, this one, Catacans, looks like we are back. A monograph before we sink our teeth to speak so to speak, into our analysis of the Katakan, the creature to whom the present work is dedicated. By way of introduction, let me present to our least experienced reader what exactly vampires are and what they are not. To our great displeasure, a great many myths concerning these creatures have arisen over the years, and the popular tales about them have served only to make popular superstition and falsehoods. In the common folk's imagination, vampires are dead men and women arisen from their graves, wraiths driven by an unquenchable thirst for warm blood. Yet nothing could be further from the truth. These creatures first came to be on another world, arrived in our, in our centuries ago, and have since learned to live among men and have evolved at our side. The widespread belief that vampires must drink human blood in order to survive is flat out wrong, though they do in fact often partake of our vital fluid, for human blood affects their physiology as alcohol does ours. A vampire's bite does not turn its victim into a vampire, a state of affairs which would in fact be counter to logic, for it would mean that wo the world would soon fill with vampires as we multiply at an exponential rate. Running waters present no barrier to vampires, not even if it's cold, for vampires are immune to the forces of both heat and cold. I'm not sure how that helps us. Now for the most important matter. Vampires have learned to live in the light of our sun, which is not harmful to them in the least, though they absolutely never shimmer or glisten when struck with the sun's rays. All right, a little bitch, uh, bitch slapped the uh, more popular uh, series as of late. The Civil War into Sam is pretty interesting. Didn't actually get to read this. Actually, I did uh, uh, look at them just to have them uh, more read, but I didn't actually read the text. Uh, the Civil War in Toussaint, the year 7081, marked the final end of the Elven rule in Toussaint, the closing of an era that had lasted over one and a half thousand years. The Elves abandoned their ivory cities and left for the mountains, taking with them all that they could and destroying everything else. Whatever they could not take and did not manage to demolish or burn, they cursed. <coughs> the last El Elven sovereign the Diethaf, I think it's pronounced, hundreds of years old, yet fair as a youth, was defeated. 
Befreeing over the slain army of his forever young brothers and sisters, he agreed to pay homage to Ludovic, the first human king of Toussaint, who though young was uh, shrunken and ugly as the night after Savoan. <laughs> wow. Putting on no end of airs and graces, Ludovic boasted, Look, the proud elf shall bow down before me and kiss my royal feet with humility. To degrade that, that half even further, Ludovic decided that a homage should take place in the elf king's barely abandoned, pla uh, uh, barely abandoned palace? What the heck? Hmm. The throne on which Ludovic now boldly launched the boar still smoldering marks from the fire set by the elves, who had sought to burn the whole palace down as they left. So the proud elven king bowed down before the human king and offered him a sacrifice of bread and wine, as well as his sword and shield. Spewing out merciless mockery at the all the while Ludovic received this homage and immediately ordered his guards drag Ditlaf beyond the palace gates and from him down the stairs as if he were a beggar. What a fucking douchebag. Witnesses claim the proud elf remained calm throughout the whole event, but when left alone, Ditlaf wiped the blood of his face and vowed cruel revenge on the king. The revenge that would come from stone as cold as the king's heart. Yet this ominous words bore no fruit, for in the year 782, before the homage was renewed, that half drew his last breath alongside his remaining soldiers when the Tucson decided to celebrate the anniversary of the surrendering of the Alvan Sovereign with a program of non-humans on the slope of Mount Gorgon. should survive. Jesus fucking Christ. Wow. That's a little bit freaking dark. Noble Houses of Toussaint, volume uh, L, I think L is for 10, no, wait, I know the I is for 1, the V is for 5, L, I think it's 10, no, no, 10 is X, X, uh, L, fucking don't remember, I know M is for millennium, which is freaking thousand years, S is for 100. What the fuck is L for? God damn. That nah, doesn't freaking matter. Anyway, Sangreal. Altern alternatively, Sangreal. Literally, the royal blood. Yeah, god damn. Sangreal. I think it's from Italian, maybe. Maybe Spanish. I don't know. The legendary line which some. Uh, Trace back to the first lords of the lands, now lying uh, in Toussaint and northwestern Hochland. The first mention of Wilhelm the Bold, this line's founder, comes from the Anilvan manuscripts found during reconstruction of the Buclair Palace in 1095. Since this source, like all things Elven, is unreliable and should not be taken into consideration by historians. The existence of House Sangreal must be considered a mere fable. As they say, freaking victors write the history. Salvarez will... It's the same thing, goddammit. D or the Regulus Platinum Crest. This line takes its name from the Salvar the Lame, who was made a count in the year 1189 by Duchess Caroberta for his service to the ducal throne. The Di Salvarez line's crest depicts a Reculus Platinum, one of the so-called silver basilisks, whose existence is highly suspect. Its classification as a species considered an er er erroneous by most zoologists. Hmm. Torricella of the Two Towers Crest, an ancient lion who founders most likely first settled the lands of present day to Sant around the year 984. They waged fierce war against the elves until the sixth decade of the 11th century, when all of all what is now to Sant fell under human control. 
Oh, that's not a lot of freaking. Uh... Oh, it's in freaking. Yeah, it's in freaking volumes anyway. Uh, on hunting basilisks. I'm not sure if this one's one in the uh, main game or not. In our lands, that is to say, in the fair duchy of Tucson, the hunting of basilisks has a long and storied tradition, one reaching back to the dawn of our uh, present history. Attesting to this is a note written by one Xenon of Tritium, a letter worker in the year 1023. In it, one finds mention of a commission for a corset to be fastened from hide of that winged serpent. Called Basiliscus by some. Sivereto Fiari, manuscripts for the ages, 2078. While lesser heights could come from this fell by age of or hunger, the costliness and expense of this corset would have necessitated the skin of a basilisk taken in its prime, and therefore required a hunt. Without the uh, engagement of a witcher or as last resort, a knight or a mercenary, such a hunt would have perforced meant the gruesome death of the foolhardy hunter. Yet was adept at the task, witchers chief among them hunted basilisks and their cousins cockatrices with great success, meaning their number still a mere handful remained. Yeah, and still counting. <laughs> to give but one example, in the year 11... Uh, I don't know how freaking uh, this one is pronounced. 11, oh, 1100, yeah. Basilis of the uh, Regulus Platinum subspecies dotted skies all across our land, yet in the present day only one exemplar still lives. Oh, may I get to fight a unique one, I hope, maybe? Forgotten species, the protofledder. What the heck is this one? I know what the fledder is, is a vampire, but the protofledder? I know proto is usually, um, in biology, it means that it's a, uh, in the stages of becoming something else. If you take a fledder and uh, magnify it of all of its most primitive traits, you will get a proto -fledder. This beast, the uh, Fledder's distant ancestor, uh, arrived here from a parallel sphere centuries past, yet unlike the Fledder, has remained untouched by uh, any post-conjunctual ev evolutionary processes. In our time, plot of Fledders are extremely rare. The more suitably adapted flatters having taken over the niche in our biosphere. Protofledders are thus lesser vampires. Their massive white jaws constitute their main weapon. Their sharp claws come in a close second. Similar to their more uh, developed cousin, protofledders rely on their instincts rather than, the, than intelligence and are quite sensitive to the scent of blood. All the usual means of all the usual means of fighting vampires, such as vampire oil, black blood, and silver weapons, apply to them as well. All right, let's see some. Uh, this. What did I, I think? I uh, by mistake I did manage to uh, select some of them. Pretty sure I had more than one. God damn. I might have uh, clicked, clicked them by mistake. Mm. So I'm pretty sure I had two of them. I don't remember what the other one was. The one was the catacan, the other one, I don't freaking remember what it was. So. Mm. Pretty sure, sure I had two of them. Ah, it doesn't matter. Oh, I think. Oh, the catacans. I think I. Yeah, this ones you meet in the uh, main game. 
Anyway, Proto Fledders. Never seen a vampire like that in my life. Gerald of Rivia, Witcher. Proto Fledders are relatives of the Fledder which came from the world of the higher vampires to our own during the conjunction of spears. These members of this species are characterized by their considerable strength and agility as well as the strange glow they emit, a trait most likely tied to their otherworldly nature. proto have never had a significant contact with the uh, outside world, having spent their entire time on our planet in the Unseen Elder's Cave. What the fuck is an Unseen Elder for? Whose atmosphere is very similar to that of their home world. It's pretty nasty this one. Also, yeah, um, I wanted to say uh, proto also might mean something that it's is faking a tissue. For example, uh, a cartilage is a proto uh, tissue. Like, yeah, this would be a little bit of a freaking drag explaining. Uh, I learned this uh, at first from uh, something about sharks. It was something about their teeth. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get to the freaking uh, game. Also, did find this is some kind of quest, but I didn't touch them yet. And I also noticed there's one around here. Or am I gonna do them at some point anyway? I'm gonna start here because I noticed there's also a little bit of chat we can do before we get to the other uh, other Look quest to help enough. the uh, guy. So Alrighty. Master Witcher, have you any news? Yes, but uh something else. You were right. Vermentino's problems didn't come out of nowhere. Someone was behind them. What do you mean, someone? Liam did this! Oh, no, no, no! I will not listen to this slander! Wait, wait! A third party is responsible for Vermentino's problems? Have you any proof? No. Then nope. you must find them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Stand on hearsay. Right. I'll come by once I've got something solid. This vineyard, Belgard. Why is it so valuable? <laughs> you are not from here, it certainly shows. Before Count Crespi you don't say to the beast, Belgard belonged to him. As a man of wealth and influence, he guided it Count to Crispy. success. Brought in rare grape varieties, hired skilled workers. I shan't trouble you with unnecessary details. Suffice to say that merging Belgard with another vineyard is a sure recipe for success. What? I don't know why they don't shake fucking hands and move on. Everyone has to have a freaking peace without everyone yes. taking a share of themselves. Anyway, which was the other one? The Coronata, is it? Wine is important, this we all know. Yet into sound, wine is sacred. When Gerald found his son embroidered in a dispute between two great winemaking families, Represented by Maltida Vermentino and Liam de Coronata, he knew he was treading on shaky ground. Nonetheless, he took a side, resolving to help Liam deal with the problems at his vineyard. I'm kind of curious to see how they were going to react if I help them both. And I think this is the... Uh, right, let's see how we're doing this. They're not in a freaking great order. Wait, what the heck is happening? I can't call my horse. Alright, this is weird. This must be a bug or something. Okay. Oh, you're pickling flowers. Interesting. Nice. Wow, that's uh wow, okay. Anyway, let's see what kind of trouble we're gonna get ourselves into today. But I need to find a way to actually summon my freaking horse because the uh the ways I have to travel are a bit spread out. Good sir, 
help! Vileness in the fields! They're infested! A jump is like a lady. Oh, oh, right. I mean, that's stuff I already have to do. Ah, uh, right. Okay, good thing I managed to learn these things already. And insect weed. Wow, there's a. Burn a lot less. What the heck? Only two. Only two stacks. God damn, that speed is so annoying. What I notice this one's aren't. Hmm. Be sure I can constantly keep hitting them if I behind them all right. Alright, this is a way easy way to beat them. Alrighty. Arcus boys will sprout again. Should destroy the area if I want to get Oh, this is a nest. Interesting. Totally doesn't look like them at all. Anyway, for people who don't know this, even in the May game, you can actually loot these things. They're pretty nice in uh, stuff to loot. I have some very, very special uh, ingredients in them. I had to finish the game once before I uh, noticed this. Actually, I uh, kind of noticed it uh, around the, uh, let's see, the middle. Of the first playthrough I did. Actually, let me check. Uh, I still need an ability point and a great goddamn, and I, I sold so many of those mutagen, mutagens before I, uh, I basically I kept like four of each, and the rest I sold everything. Which now it proves kind of a uh, big deal. Luckily around here I noticed most of the uh, beasties uh, drop very high quality mutagens. As you can see some of them even drop freaking graters. Which is pretty pretty nice. Oh, now I can call him. Alright, let's see what this is. More centipedes. Oh, right. More of you guys. God damn, you kill freaking everything you find, huh? Let's get some more oil. And it seems the, only, the easier way is to just freaking hit them in the back. This is why I want to go a little bit of a mix, because some of these monsters are not very susceptible to magic. I kind of struggle with magic to uh, fight them out. Wow, alright. Oh, this is a camp, I see. Hmm, wish I didn't have to do this every time. Would have been nice if you just left and they came uh, naturally here, not waiting for them to freaking invade. Wow, they moved me again, god damn. People really like fondling me around. And a medium green mutagen, quite a lot of freaking greens. 
Wait, um... Any diary sipes? Oh, hello. List, uh, list marked with the seal of Lamb Coronata. Bogdan, we must take unusual precautions. We still do not know where these giant parasites are coming from. So put out additional guards. Burn on chairs day and night and never let the fires go up. Those wild plants are vulnerable to fire. Yeah, not so much. Remember, our forest herbarium is vital. Without the uh, floorings... Oh, flavorings. Goddamn floorings, Lord. Flavorings you secure for us. We will never manage to finish production the... Producing the spiced wine in which we have placed so much hope. I know, I know men are afraid and do not wish to work, so instead of uh, the stick which I have heard you are overly fond of using, announce I am raising their wages by two crowns. And that furthermore, they can report to the kitchen and at the end of the week for a pan of pate. Lamb Coronata. Hmm. Freaking French lover pate. Alrighty, I guess we're not getting anything too special. Alright. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, I see. Hmm. Well, not that amazing either, so... God damn it. Horsey, what do, what do you like so much about vegetation? That you love humping it. Alrighty, another one. Oh, this seem to be going a little bit faster than the other ones. Oh, hello more plants. Two of you guys, all right. And I should probably use the potion as well. God damn, this is probably one of the best potions if uh, the enemies are using poison. Wow, you're freaking fast and I really wish you'd stop using so many flowers so nice to have some points in the green tree to uh, have his uh, toughness More like a freaking viper or something, rather than some kind of flower. Hmm, this was some kind of camp. Not the usual. What are these guys doing? <laughs> okay, great investigation there. Looks like I'm at least getting my feel of uh, green mutagens. Hello. What the heck? Beware the white terror. Oh, I think I got a contract on this one. Danger zone, do not enter. Any losses of life or property will be compensated by Count Boris de Salvarez. That's a little bit weird. Could be the same damn beast as in the notice, though. Alright, oh yeah. Um, what am I supposed to loot around here? It's 
lots of freaking wine. Uh, right. Still not finding what it is. What the heck? Blow itself didn't it kill it. Got something? To death afterwards. Hello. Hmm. What have we got here? No chance this letter wound up here by accident. Orders on elegant stationery. Fail me this time and I'll skin the splotchy hide of your romp. <laughs> Pick up the next batch of seedlings tomorrow from the Tesham Mutna. Interesting name. Tesham Mutna Hatchery. We need to infect another spotted Coronata. But don't be late because the team from the wine yard on the other side of the rivers got the key. I see. This is gonna lead us somewhere. What I found earlier. Some third parties causing problems at the vineyards. Need to find the spot the letter mentions. Then I'll find something mighty interesting behind whatever door this key opens. Why not is the deuce in the machina? Deus in the machina. Okay. Let's turn back to doing this one and after we completed this one we're gonna go there because this one sounds pretty interesting alrighty Whoa. Uh, let's go to the bridge well what the heck are those like some kind of towers or something. And it's some kind of weird trees. Oh, oh sh oh, it's a daisy. Alright, if you wanna fight with them, I'm gonna fight them. Uh these are probably insects as well, yep. Yeah. Okay. Pretty hard to see the damn things. The uh, traps, I mean. Uh, these enemies aren't too engaging. There's not much you can do about them. Actually, if you try to get close to them uh, and they don't want to fight, they're just gonna jump on you and, uh, and disappear. I really have to trap them. Although those things do look like some kind of those um, ant hills, but freaking big. I guess we're gonna see at a later date when we're uh... Wow. Actually, we don't get any mission in this zone. Uh, maybe some of these places are gonna give us some mission in there. At the moment, I'm gonna continue with my uh, my quest. I kind of want to go and see, but as I said before, we are gonna get there at some other point now. No reason to go there now. Ooh, troll, troll, yeah, trolls. Alright, I think those are uh, all great. Then I haven't fought some of these in ages. They can be nasty in groups, not so dangerous when alone. 
Oh, rabbits. <laughs> Pretty sure you're not supposed to lack fire. I guess this is not D&D then. It doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, that kind of sucks. You guys have a lot of freaking health. And they do seem to go in the di different stance earlier than the uh, guys I used to fight. Man, too bad. Yeah, this is why I said I need a little bit of a uh, sword art, because with magic you can't really do much to enemies like these. The sword bonus is pretty nice as you see, it does quite almost triple damage, but uh, getting enough adrenaline points without the, some combat uh, talents is not easy. Ooh, two troll hides, wow. Those are pretty freaking real back in the uh, ooh, green armor thing. They are pretty real in the main game, I actually had to farm some of them just to get one troll uh, hide. One of the potions I still have to uh, have to make. Oh, hello! A letter to Cosmo Cyril. Brother, enough of his hesitation, his ferreting, his feelings of guilt. Lime Coronata pays you practically nothing, and you've got a family to feed. So do as I say. Load up a cart with barrels of that new spiced wine. And in the night, quiet as a mouse, haul it away from the estate. <laughs> yeah, throw a freaking card of stuff. Had no twist, and when you cross the stream, you'll find my man waiting for <laughs> I guess this wasn't man, then. Give them the barrels. They must be desperate to get this wine, because merely, merely as down payment, they handed me a pleasantly heavy pouch. Just be careful, because a pair of those vile rock trolls hunt in the Blejure Valley. How trolls end up there, you ask? They were imported for the tourney, tourney for uh, knights to battle for the crowd's amusement. Thing is, they fled the transport and began slaughtering their way across the land. Wow. Uh, hide the share of the down payment I've sent because if someone finds you with that kind of coin, they'll start asking questions, and our business will end quicker than it began. My advice, bury it in a pile of dunk, no one will look there. Good thing I have to. Money don't stink. If you say so. While helping uh, Liam the Coronata restore his vineyard to its former glory, Gerald, nosy as ever, came upon a letter. He learned of a worker at Coronata who had been disloyal to his employer, selling spice wine on the side at quite a premium. The gold he had earned through his wicked ways now lay buried beneath a pile of manure. Yeah. Oh, and I think this is a back at the uh, estate. Yep. All right. Well, in that case, we still have one more place to go. Pretty nice that this uh, quest seems to lead us to a lot more quests. It's like a little bit of a domino. All right.
51 wants to go. Um, actually... Hmm. Alright, never mind. Let's see how far this one is. I wonder how I can uh, find that white, uh, white, 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 whatever. If it just uh, flies around or we're gonna have to do some tracking for it. Better not land on my ass directly. Uh, whoa, there's a cave here. Hmm. Use the force, look, it's gonna work. Okay, wipe down, damn it. Oh, she better not start. Dirty letter. I'll be short and to the point. You have to grab Lamb's herbalist and keep him from fin finishing production of, the, of that new wine. Leave the girl alone till I send more orders. Don't mess this up, you bum brain. Beat, beat root? I have no idea what that is. V. Hmm. Oh, god damn. Thank you. I'd venture north in search of herbs for a new flavored wine. Well, suddenly. Calm down. Wow. The bang did less kidnapped me. In hopes of collecting a ransom, I'm sure. But with Master Liam's troubles, he never could have paid them. Ah, but I'm Wait. free and safe, thanks to you. Should you need any helps, I've a hearty stock at the Coronata. Will you work me there? Well, if you keep bouncing those things around, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do it just that. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess I'll come back and loot this stuff later. I don't know if there's more to loot than the bodies, though. Here we are. Once again, I thank you for the rescue. Wish to look over my stock? Hello. Master Liam doesn't seem a diligent proprietor. <laughs> he tries as best he can. It's not his fault our vineyard suffered plague upon plague. Plagues? What kind? Well, the enormous yellow man-eating sun juice, for instance. You cannot set foot into the brush for fear of coming out a head shorter. <laughs> All right. Show me what you got. Let's see if you have anything special. Special? Wait, what's this? I know this one, but what the fuck is this? Potion of Restoration. Return all ability points when de developing mutations to the pool so you can reallocate them. Mutagen spent developing mutations will not be returned. Uh, that kind of sucks. Eh, yeah, well, anyway. I'm gonna do the mistake of selling those yes. things again. See you later. Until I'm done with the full uh the whole tree. Wait and I do think we had a quest around here. Alright. Wow, you got a lot of freaking olives. Ah, I can't wait to stick my hands in freaking Wow, you got a freaking pond, wow. No fish in bamboo. Alright, where is this thing? Uh, that 
stench. Oh, this does look like uh, a haystack. What's... Yeah, I wonder how nobody noticed that. Really? Alrighty then. Um, well, let's go do this one then. 42. Hmm. From the start, both Matilda and Liam insisted the problems at the vineyards had no, not appeared out of thin air. Naturally, the accused, they accused one another of foul play. Gerald suspected there was more to the matter, and yet again his intuition proved true. While solving the problems at the vineyards, he had happened on some notes. This suggested someone had intentionally planted ar archie spores at missed the vines at both estates. The witcher had also found a key to the shelter where saplings of the beastly plants had been stored. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Alright, where is this thing? Oh, quite far, ooh, quite far away. Well, we're good on time. This is rather weird. This one doesn't have a uh, travel post, unfortunately. Maybe I just didn't re run into it. Just yet. Let's see. Move it. In any case, I'm going to the uh, one on the bridge. So I'm not sure if there, if there is one, but. I'm not gonna run around run, run around the whole estate trying to find it. Right. Sounds returns valley. Hmm there's gonna be a lot of freaking walking to reach this other one. Oh, let's see if I uh oh, damn it. Watch where you step, fool. Master Witcher. <laughs> Coronados and Vermentino's troubles didn't come out of nowhere. Found evidence someone was behind them. Specifically, someone planted Arcaspore bulbs around the properties. That's in these letters. As for who it was. What do you mean who? Him! And only him! You're mad! <laughs> Surely you hatched this plot and now seek to stick me with the blame! Calm down, both of you. I'll find the place the letters mention. We'll clear this up. Hmm, alright. Take care now. The butcher of Lapigan called to be the savior. I took the lard of the Alright, let's see what we have next to it. Not too much. Mm. Probably gonna go to that village just to uh, read the notice for since it's on my way. Faster. I think that's a lot to ask. Usually there's not a lot of places where uh, NPCs try to work their way around, around the world. Franco Lartz? What the f... Wow, that's a weird name. Franco Lartz. I think it's pronounced Franco or something like that. Anyway... <laughs> Oh, quite a big market around here. Come on, good folk, come quickly. I haven't enough for everyone. Oh, probably some other time. Let's see where this notice board is. Hey, hey, hey. 
I doubt it myself. But the wife, she went berry picking once, came back to say she'd seen walls midst the trees. And did she not go back to ravage? See if there was treasure to be had? No. I told her there might be treasure, there might not be. Monsters, though, there be for certain. Best not venture. Maybe we get the quest out of this one. Hmm, maybe not. She's always showing off their cosplays. Yet I hear they bought it all with loans from Chen Fanelli. Inconceivable! Ah, uh, it's... Uh, I know there's a few quests that you can actually pick up by listening to conversation. I'm not a big fan of that kind of stuff because you can probably miss it sometimes. Alright, announcement from the Ducal Guard. Due to the Knight's tourney currently being held, it is kindly requested, requested travelers do not provoke Knight Serant, nor challenge them to any duels. No adherents will be penalized. Deputy Commander of the Ducal Guard. Forest the Funes. Interesting. Missing horseshoe. God, wow, really? I've lost a horseshoe. It was a good one. With these nice pointy shocks. Pay dearly for it in Belhaven. Don't make ones like it. Uh, fuck. Don't make ones like it here. Return it to me and I'll give you a, a bottle of a fine vintage in gratitude. Marcel of Bassan. You'll have to bring it to me. I am not too mobile. On account of my horse missing a shoe and all. Are you like tied to the freaking horse or something? <laughs> Requ uh, squire wanted. I seek a clever lad, one with a good report with horses for a squire. As an experienced knight, I can promise whoever I take on a fantastic op opportunity to learn not just the knightly arts but also impeccable manners and the ways of the high society. Gabriel de Pasternak. Oh, there's a, like a uh, uh, fuck. Um, a vegetable in, in our uh, language name like what? It's Pasternak. It's uh, I'm not sure what in English it's called. Freaking damn it! Uh, it doesn't matter. Pretty funny, well. Hortensi Vineyard closed until further notice. During an attack by hideous creatures resembling overgrown insects, the owner of Hortensi Vineyard sustained serious injuries. As the threat is still present, Hortensi Vineyard will be closed until further notice. Our sincere apologies. <laughs> Francois de Valer, I challenge you. You syphilitic scroller of spurious slander. I've read your lampoon of my rhyme scheme fury and challenge you to a literary duel. If you have any shred of dignity and courage about you, come to the next soir at Lady Oriana's residence with three poems prepared. We will recite in turns and then subject ourselves to the judgment of the literary men and women present. Not respectfully, as you deserve no respect, and no signature, as you know very well who wrote this message. Wow, I, I, I really do hope I'll uh, get to this kind of stuff at some point. Hmm. I've seen ghosts. I'm looking for others who, like me, have encountered a strange presence in the Caroberta woods. I would like to discuss what we have experienced. Dagobert. It's kind of weird. Alright. <laughs> Great hair shit, what the heck does that mean? Hmm. Alright, um right, this should be a little bit straightforward. What uh, weird highways you have around here, goddamn. Hello, another barrel. Okay. 
Wait. Although I doubt this one drops mutagens. What are you doing, buddy? Taking a shit? Mm. Nasty. Yep, no mutagens. And I'm guessing what that freaking location was. Are you serious again? What the heck? Maybe I should buy you a bush back at the villa. Maybe this is the fortress we were. Uh, Pretty weird, I don't have any undiscovered locations about it. Alright. Hmm. Although I'm guessing it might be some kind of quest location later on. Hello. It's like they were making wine or something around here as well. Warhammer? Did you just say Warhammer? Wow, okay. <laughs> wow. Really? Oh, not that one. Wow, he actually fights like... He's using the sword, wow. Hmm. Okay... There must be some kind of secret around here. Kinda way you wanna use a cat, but it seems the area is not all that big. Don't wanna go blind when I uh, go out. Oh, we should probably use the torch from some uh, for some lovely, lovely uh, lighting. Oh, oh, hello! Another one of you guys. I guess we didn't have enough of them already. Oh, we seem to have a lot more health than the others. Well, you didn't have a special name or anything. Or green mutagens. Wow, quite a lot of them, god damn. I wonder what his idea would be after he uh, completed his plan, whoever this guy was. Was to uh, kill those freaking plants, because I haven't seen any freaking knights or anything try to uh, hunt those things or anything. I uh, 
stock taking report site of stake stock taking Vespin Archispor Hatchery Codename Mushroom Farm Near Desheham Mutna Owner Commissioner of Stocking Count Vladimir Crespi Wow, this guy was a douchebag van I'm guessing he didn't die for nothing I do kind of recall that the uh, that vampire friend of ours said that that guy wouldn't the beast that guy wouldn't kill just for nothing. Maybe these guys were actually uh, some kind of douchebags, and this guy was hunting them. Interesting. Maybe this ties into the story some way. Stock under review. Vespine archispore bulbs. Archisporus vespidae. Number 6 dormant bulbs, 24 without sprouts. Changing since last, uh, last uh, stock taking. 12 bulbs, 6 B transported to Coronata of Count Crespi's orders. 6 bulb buds, I think it is. Transported to Vermentino on Count Crespi's orders. Margin note important some bulbs are now too mature to be safely transported. We should be burned, otherwise they will sprout in the hatchery. Yeah, we kinda did that already. Oh, they still do sounds. I think it's a little bit of a bug. Alrighty. I'm guessing we didn't get a uh, travel location nearby, which kinda sucks. Oh well. Faster. Yeah, I have to say this game needs a little bit more uh, travel points. At least in some of these more uh, no 4D locations. I guess there's probably one near the the um, fortress up there. But I don't want to go there and start some quest or something. I got enough quests to deal with as I am and I also still have to go to two of the other uh, um, <coughs> villages to, to read the notice words. When we gonna do that next episode I am not too sure what I'm gonna do, we'll see. Goddamn this river. Alright. Mm, that's a lot of easy money. I wonder if they both pay us. Hello. Lero is dead. <laughs> Hello. For people who uh, played World of Warcraft, they probably remember this name. The knight known as Sir Lelor has died during a one-man raid against monsters. Carried out of his own volition and against everyone else's better judgment. He left no family or relations of any sort. He wanted to be a hero. May he rest in peace. <coughs> All those who are interested are hereby informed that a funeral ceremony conducted according to Lebiodo's right will be held in three days. Yeah, if you don't know who that is, try searching for uh, Leroy Jenkins. It's a little bit of a old, uh, I guess it's a meme by now. We'll see. Imperial Cuisine. The Cockatrice Inn offers a wide variety of Nilf Guardian specialties. Try our delicate hair pot, hey? Our famous crayfish soup and grilled vegetable harvested under the Empire's sunny skies. Affordable prices, long live His Majesty May. Emir von Emrys, Dayfan Aiden Irkar Ape Morvund. Fucking stupid name. Pestered by pesky caterpillars devouring your vines. Don't waste contour coin on magic protection and rituals. The famed critter go gobbling martens of Coronata will have your problem solved in a flash. 
order now and we'll give you a pair of the order now and we'll give you a pair for the price of a male leash muzzle and anti-rabies concoctions provided for free please note martin repellent not included what the fuck is this widow six nanny nanny needed for the offspring ages four and seven of a recently perished night errand candidate should be soft on the eyes free of vice well-mannered and patient antoinette de nuregas freaking names landscape portraits as a graduate of the famous faculty of applied portraiture at oxenford academy i am prepared to capture your likeness on canvas with the sun's mountainous landscape in the background posing time depends on the size of the painting and the exactness of the detail requested <clears throat> negotiable prices find me at grand's place grand's place interesting name August Benoir Dunk Diddlers All those who are in any way affiliated with Coronata Vineyard are dunk diddling degenerates and I have only one thing to say to them Go watch your grandmas Yeah, very much sure Patrolling on an empty stomach oh. Alright yeah, I'm surprised these two guys aren't either killing each other or having sex with each other. One and the same man caused Coronada's and Vermentino's problems. Got proof. A certain Count Crespi. He's at the root of it all. What, Crespi? Belgard's erstwhile owner? Why, that's impossible. Got it all here, in writing. He did, indeed, have motive. He knew well his own vineyard could not survive if Vermentino and Coronata were to join forces. Uh. Probably why he incited the feud. Pulled it off, too, mostly. Just failed to bring his plan to completion when the beast got him. Incredible. You mean to say <clears throat> it wasn't clear? Okay, I guessed it. We're gonna have sex. In light of new things, uh... The most just resolution would be for both injured parties to share oversight of Belgard. Exactly. Yes. Even more reason to have sex. Do you to suggest we're to cooperate? It's the optimal solution, yes. In terms of the health of the Enterprise as well. Hmm. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I do believe he's right. Perhaps it is time to bury the hatchet. Three vineyards are more than one. Yes, yes. The Romulan has spoken. <laughs> Soviet. That's not all. The troubles at your vineyards? Solve them. You can go back to operating normally now. Splendid news. I'm relieved to see you hired a professional, especially one whose aid might still prove invaluable. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Follow me. It's high time you saw Belgard. I'm kind of curious to see where this one is. Please. Something tells me we'll have tasks for you yet. All right. All right. Let's go. <clears throat> My desire for Belgard mm. to pass into capable hands was no idle whim, for the vineyard's fallen upon hard times since its previous owner's demise. I've been told of workers dying on their rounds, monsters prowling about. Before anyone oh, we're getting stop, another set of those. I see. These, uh, inconveniences. That is the minister's wish. More work for me, I guess. If you're willing, we'll gladly accept your help. Yes, I know. In the meantime, we're all gonna be having sex and sure. wagering. We'll work for free. Ooh. Fine. We have a deal. Wow, nice. One thousand. That's pretty lucrative. More or less already agreed, I guess. <laughs> Weight off my chest, I must say. Your reward shall be fair, I promise. I'll get to work. Well, and I think that's about it, because this actually stretched a bit too long, though. Well, I had a lot to do. And I think we got paid twice. That's pretty nifty. 
Ooh, we're getting a few, uh, few, few coins on our pouch. Right, and yeah, we'll get another five of these. Hmm. Nice. Probably next episode I'm gonna start off around my uh, farm because I kind of completed all the um, all the upgrades for it. I think, and we didn't visit it for a while. Then I s also I decorated it a little bit. Just gonna show it off. Actually, I don't think I remember uh, reading the. Uh, I don't think I read this one. Everyone who has ever, who has even a passing acquaintance with Geralt of Rivia, knows it was a very rare for the Witcher to be paid before completing a contract. Retainers or down payments, however, were another story. Those would often be given uh, him by the best of employers, those who had no intention of backing out of their side of the bargain and who wanted a job done and done well above all else. In this regard, Anna Henrietta stood out as one of the best employers Gerald had ever had. Why is that you ask, dear reader? Why? Because in exchange for agreeing to kill the beast of Buclair, she gave Gerald the deed to Corva Bianco, Wineyard, and promised further payment in gold as soon as Gerald completed the job. Say what you will about her, but no one can deny Anna Henrietta's generosity. A preliminary inspection of Gerald's new property. Is this longer? No. Uh, a preliminary inspection of Gerald's new property in cover when the vineyard would need quite a bit of fixing up before it could shine in all its glory. This will be a monumental task requiring aesthetic sensibilities Gerald was not sure he possessed. Luckily, he did not have to take it on alone. Eddie him in, in would be Barnabas Basil, his majordomo, who Gerald soon learned was an, ex an expert not only in the running of the household but also in the remodeling. Hmm. Alrighty. Time to end that quest next episode. Anyway, if you like my video, please leave a comment, maybe a like or maybe a subscribe, and I will check you on my next one. Doing I don't know what. Oh, probably completing this one. Yeah. Anyway, yes.